Hi, I'm Leslie Harris, and this is my one-year update doing a refold method. Um, let me tell you some background. Um, so I have been immersing, I mean, following the refold method for one year. For one year. But I actually started in 2019, no, 2020 in June. But I was only immersing for 20 minutes for six months, so I don't count that. So this is really my one year. This is really one year I've been following directions and doing the refold method. So I finished the, the dictionaries. And, um, so I have learned a lot of vocab, vocabulary, and it has helped increase my comprehension. Um, um, I just bought some new dictionaries and, um, they're on the way. So I'll be starting that, um, uh, in January. Um, I use a planner to keep track of what I'm watching and what I'm doing. I also have a timer to make sure I'm immersing for two to three hours a day. Um, and I don't stop watching until that timer goes off and I take a break. Um, So I average immerse, emerging for about three hours a day, daily. But um, my ASL studies accumulate, it adds up to about five hours a day because I'm studying vocabulary for two hours and then I'm immersing for three hours. So that's a total of five hours daily. So I show you the things that keep me on track is my planner and my timer. Uh, so what are my plans? Um, I plan on keep on learning vocab and I'll continue immersing for two to three hours daily. But but I will also use a finger spelling tool so I can catch the finger sp spelling. Because um, it's hard for me to, if it's a, if I see a deaf person finger spelling like a three or four letter word, I can catch it. But yeah, it's hard for me to catch the finger spelling. So now I have a finger spelling app on my phone, which I practice my receptive finger spelling uh, skill. And I also go on Bill Vigor's website and practice that. Use that, their finger spelling tool. I plan on doing that for a couple of hours or an hour to a couple of hours daily. Um, because uh, if you can't catch the finger spelling, you miss a lot of the message. I don't have a problem with um, comprehending, comp comprehending, but when you miss the finger spelling, you that could be 80 to 90% of the message. So I'm working on that. I did take a screening for a VRS company and I didn't improve. The first time I took a screening for a, this, a VRS company was in 2018 when I graduated from my ITP. And when it came to the voicing portion, I was silent. So I did improve. I do have a mentor working with my expressive, my signing skills, but I do not have a mentor for voicing. So I'm on my own with that. I, I also can't afford a, a mentor for voicing. I can only, you know, I'm doing the best I can. What else? Um, I didn't pass the VRS screening, but it was improvement for, from 2018. So, 
what else um yeah so my comprehension is improving one thing that i did learn just because your comprehension is improved and you understand it does not mean you can voice because i found myself uh I was comprehending more, but when I tried to voice, when I tried to voice, I could not voice. So it took me two, three months to to able to put what I'm seeing into English. So, so you can comprehend everything, but that doesn't mean you can you can voice. You gotta practice that skill. So I. So next year I plan I touch you what I plan on doing. I also plan on and practicing my interpreting skills three times a week, my voicing and expressive skills three times a week. So yeah, and the next time I do an update will be next year around this time because there's not much for me to say. Um yeah, it won't be much for me to say, but I'm improving and um, um, that's about it. So, and hopefully I have uh, attempted to take the the NIC performance. I have attempted to take the NIC performance test and I can say how I did on that and how I felt about it. I plan on doing that sometime next year. And, um... Yeah, so that's my one year update. Um, so um, I plan on doing these updates all the way to the three year mark because my mentor said it would take me three years to become fluent. So this is really my first year, and next time I I do an update, it will be my second year, and I can talk how fluent and how I feel about it. Um, so. Maybe I might understand a hundred percent of the message of the messages of the of the media that I'm consuming. Uh, maybe I'll still have a problem with um, capturing the finger spelling, or maybe not. Maybe maybe I'll be fine, or maybe it'll take me three years, like my mentor said. So you never know. Um, my career is to be a sign language interpreter, so I'm in it for long haul. If it takes me more than three years, it takes me more than three years. If it takes me, uh, this, if I finish, if it takes me till June, then that's great. But, um, I don't plan on doing another update till December. If, if I'm blessed, if I don't have COVID, if I'm still here, uh, December of 2022, so anyway, thanks for watching my update. Uh, I hope this video helps somebody. Um, I got this planner from CVS and um, I make sure, and I also write at the bottom of, at the bottom of my plan, I write my learning evaluation you know, what I did for the bun and, you know, how I feel about my language learning. I also scratch out, scratch out, I put an X on the days that I immerse. So, it's, it's good to keep up. So, that's it, y'all. Um, good luck to you on your language journey. I don't know if it's ASL, Japanese, or Spanish. Um, good luck to you or your sign language. Good luck to you. And um, let's do this. Let's become bilingual, trilingual, polygot, whatever. But my goal is just to be bilingual. So, anyway, have a good day. See you in the next one.